Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Interesting uh, headline and boxing scene. It's Juan Manuel Marquez basically saying Canelo Alvarez beating Austin Trout does not make Canelo an elite boxer. You know, and I'm sure a lot of Canelo fans feel the opposite about this. And a lot of Canelo fans are Mexican fans, fans of Juan Manuel Marquez. So there's definitely going to be mixed feelings. Uh, on board here and I think Juan Marquez is really one of the all-time great Mexican fighters and for him to say that really means a lot I'm sh and I think a lot of b boxing fans will pi piggyback on Marquez sort of against Canelo saying well you know he still has to prove himself against other fighters Austin Trout was really one of the top junior middleweights, but there's other ones out there. There's Eris Londi Lara, who hasn't really gotten uh, that Canelo fight. There's Ishe Smith, who is very beatable. Who else is out there? Everybody, uh, I think there's a big demand right now for Canelo versus Floyd. I know Canelo wants that fight as soon as possible. He doesn't want to go through an other threats, like a Floyd Mayweather, but he might be forced to do just that, here's the quote from Juan Manuel Marquez. A win over Trout does not confirm that Canelo is the best because there are higher quality opponents out there. This is an important step for Canelo and a win over Trout gives him access to bigger fights. He has to face the right opponents and prove he, that he is a great fighter. Opponents like Sergio Martinez, Vames Matrosian, Arislandi Lara. He has yet to fight against those opponents to prove that he is among the best in the world. So basically saying, you know, Canelo has fought one guy that's a great step, but he hasn't fought other great opponents. Really, a lot of the hardcore fans looked at this as Canelo's first fight against someone in his weight class, right? So, and a lot of people agree, a lot of people think that Austin Trout actually won the fight. I thought it was razor close. But I can see it going either way. However, in Texas with the judging and whatnot, we knew which way it was going because of the open scoring. Now, apart from that, I do think I would love to see Canelo face other great fighters. Do I think it's going to happen? No, I think he's going to fight Miguel Cotto. I think that has been common knowledge ever since. Um... Ever since last year, uh, before Canelo fought Trout, he really wanted to fight Cotto on that date. So, you know, that's what it is. It, it, and, and it seems like Cotto, the interesting scenario is if Cotto doesn't want to take the Canelo fight anymore because he feels like he has no chance in beating Canelo after seeing Canelo destroy. Not destroy, but beat the guy that beat him. Right? Does does Cotto have really the balls to step up and take on Canelo Alvarez? And you know what? The problem I see in that fight is just Cotto's chin. You know, it's not like it used to be, and his legs aren't the same either. Um, I I think that's just, that fight is just a matter of time before Canelo connects and hurts Miguel Cotto with a big shot. Um, however, is that a good fight? Yeah, it's a good fight, but. It's it's more of a legacy fight. Get another old Hall of Famer on his le on his resume, and it gives him more popularity and more demand for a Floyd Mayweather fight. So it does make all the sense in the world. And Canelo's probably gonna fight Cotto next. But what do you guys think of Juan Manuel Marquez saying, you know, Canelo ain't elite. He's gotta fight more top guys at the division. And you know what? It's true because Marquez really had to face the best of the best in each weight class. And Canelo doesn't know what that's like because he really came up groomed to be uh, like an Oscar De La Hoya. So let me know what you guys think. It is what it is. Peace out. Take care.